Well, hello, my fellow Americans and fellow Christians. Thank you for taking time to spend with me today. My friends, the America of the past had children and young adults going to bed at night drenched in wonders. They could not wait for tomorrow and could not wait to go to sleep at night to bring forth a new day. This has slipped from our grasp and been replaced with fear and uncertainty, all due to the fact our nation has turned from Christ and the power of his spirit to regenerate our character. Not only has the country turned from Christ, but also the wonders of the Holy Ghost has been replaced in the church by self-gratification and the fanaticism of materialism. However, there is no reason why the church cannot return to the wonders of God. We are told by St. Paul to covet the best gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians. You do not hear this much at all today, to covet the best gifts Christ has given to the church. So in turn, let's look at this for a moment and perhaps understand why we are no longer drenched in the wonders and power of God. It is overlooked, my friends, by so many, that it was the apostles filled with the Holy Ghost that built the church. It is also overlooked in our time that it was great preachers filled with the Holy Ghost that moved the church and our nation in the late 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. My friends, this is the need of our day. Not organized or lectured Christians, but men of God filled with the Holy Ghost only moved by God's word and his spirit. Men of God with the message of the Lord to an apostate church and dying nation. This is the need of our hour. Men of God immersed in the Holy Ghost. This should be the hunger of our hour. There is nothing in the world that is satisfying. The nation is filled with violence, crime, hate, jealousy, civil unrest, anger, along with all the capital sins of pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. This is a description of our time by the Holy Ghost. And it can give us vision of a far greater day of wonders and great things if we take time to return to the voice and power of the Holy Ghost. When God takes hold of us, then we will be changed by his power. That a darkened day can be turned to light. A backslidden Christian can be returned to the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not limited. It is infinite. We are the ones limiting the power of God. The Holy Ghost can do great things in the church with special wonders no one ever dreamed. The Lord said he could not work in one city because there was much unbelief. The answer to this is the young man who said, Lord, help my unbelief. Perhaps that should be the prayer of many today. The Lord has not called us to sit on our lees. He has called us to be a shining light upon a hill, a witness of the power of God. He has not set us aside. He is willing to work within us at all times, no matter where we are at in our Christian walk. If we are to have a church filled with the Holy Ghost and the wonders of God, we have to have the Holy Ghost manifest in men of God and in our lives to overflowing. There should not be a day where we are not advancing in Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, how we need this glorious unction of the Holy Ghost within our Lord's church, for truly it will shake the entire nation. There is the story of a family that conspired against the Christian man. They did everything possible to agitate, irritate, and take the peace of God from him. They had an agenda to entice him into a relationship with a devious person, hoping to ruin his life. The man of God prayed in the power of the Holy Ghost, and the Lord raised the brazen wall against him. 
they were found out and the devious person they attempted to put in his life, the Lord put in theirs. Irritating them, agitating them, and taking their peace away from them. Oh, the wonders and power of the Holy Ghost. Nothing is impossible with God, and there is nothing the Holy Ghost cannot do. I have seen the fire of the Holy Ghost upon men and women. This is God's intention, that we be on fire for Christ, that his divine power is with us every moment of every day. I have seen a young man full of the Holy Ghost in a prayer meeting call out and say there was someone in the room not going to the mission field as he was called of God to do. An exclamation came out. Who said that? And how did you know that? This is how the power of the Holy Ghost moves a church. When men and women have the unction of the Holy Ghost, it will stir the church, stir its soul, and awaken those who sleep. Show signs and wonders that will shake the church and a nation to its foundations. There is a price for this power of the Holy Ghost. There must be a continual walk with Christ and earnest daily prayer. It is this earnest prayer that will transform men into the image of the Lord and will bring forth the truth of the gospel with power within them. I need not say that there is no earnest prayer. Then, the church and Christians should not force forward. But if they do not, I will tell you this. The church and Christianity will continue to be feeble and a failure. Oh, for the wonders of the Holy Ghost to return, that great signs will take place, Christ being manifest as the Son of God who sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, who sheds great gifts upon men. And so therefore we should covet the best gifts. Therefore we should earnestly look to the Lord, and ask him, what would you have me to do? This is the need of our hour. And may it come swiftly. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.